These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hi there, I'm Jamie Warren with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. Happening today, eight police agencies across the East Valley will officially launch the East Valley Critical Incident Response Team. It's a team that we've been telling you about for weeks now. The agencies will investigate any critical force incident that happens within their jurisdiction. Things like an officer involved shooting or use of force. Now here's a list of those involved. Someone from Maricopa County or Pinal County attorneys offices will also be a part of the investigation. Are you registered to vote? Today is the deadline. If you want to vote in the Arizona primary election, voters are choosing who they want as their party's candidate for November in a variety of races from city council all the way up to the U.S. Senate and U.S. House seats. Early ballots will go out to voters on Wednesday, and if you need an early ballot, you have to request one by July 19th. The primary election is set for July 30th. The 4th of July holiday is this Thursday, and it could be a record week for traveling. The Transportation Security Administration says that it's expecting to screen 32 million people in the U.S. through July 8th. And the records are already happening. Last Friday was the fourth busiest travel day ever, and Thursday landed sixth on the list with more than 2.9 million travelers. With record high prices, what can you do to save some money for the holiday? Smart Shoppers Consumer Reporter John Matariz has some ways to trim your July 4th spending so you don't waste your money. Anyone planning a 4th of July picnic or barbecue probably has a lot of mouths to feed, just like the owners of these food trucks behind me. So we turn to the experts to find the best ways to save on that all-American meal. I help you? Kristen Bailey owns a barbecue food truck, Sweets and Meats Barbecue, and she's an expert on summertime grilling. Okay, did you want to add some cornbread to that? As cook Elijah Phillips makes the sandwiches. I'm making a pork sandwich with a side of cornbread. Kristen says your best bet to save money is to avoid steak and beef brisket. I don't know how the steakhouses are doing it right now. Instead, she says chicken and pork are less than half the price. Chicken quarters, chicken drumsticks, pool pork. So if you're doing pork shoulders, those are great. You can do boneless or bone in. Very cost effective. But before you light the grill, you'll need to hit the grocery store. We have some great deals on items for your grills. Heather Fry's IGA grocery store is lit up with red, white, and blue deals with sales on burgers, hot dogs, brats, mets, uh, buns, ketchup, mustard. Smart shopping expert Trey Bodge says be strategic about where you buy your July 4th staples. Maybe I'll order some things online, then I'll go to my wholesale club. Where you can really stock up for larger group gatherings. Then perhaps I'll go to a dollar store to get some of my decor. Bodge says don't be afraid to pivot if your original food plan is just too expensive. Kristen Bailey agrees and says if you stick with a simple meal. We appreciate you, sir. Thank you. You'll still have a great cookout and you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris. Have a beer and help out some Valley teachers at the same time. For the third straight year, the Spot Neighborhood Grill is holding its Pints for Teachers fundraiser. For every Four Peaks draft beer that you get at their Scottsdale location and their new Glendale location, the Spot donates $1 to Four Peaks for Teachers. That's a nonprofit that gives teachers free school supplies and grant money. It all kicks off today and goes until the end of the month. For more information on locations that are participating, head on over to abc15.com. Time now for that most accurate forecast here on this Monday. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. We are in for a hot and humid day, but a chance for more showers and storms both this morning, lingering showers, and then again this afternoon. In the meantime, that high will reach 107 today here in Phoenix, only in the upper 70s today in Flagstaff, mid-90s though in Globe. Our storm chances highest today, but they're going to linger through midweek with about a 20% chance to 30% chance for storms today. And then that storm chance in the valley drops to about 10% tomorrow and on Wednesday. In the high country, a better chance for storms overall over the next couple of days, but storm chances overall trending down too through midweek and it's going to get hotter as those storm chances trend down. We'll lose that monsoon moisture and by the 4th of July temperatures are at 113, 115 here in Phoenix by Friday and staying sizzling hot through the weekend. It'll get warmer in the high country too with Flagstaff going from the upper 70s today to near 90 by Thursday and Friday. Those overnight lows, overnight lows rather not providing a ton of relief either, only cooling into the upper 80s to low 90s here in the valley this week. For the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head to ABC15.com or download the free ABC15 mobile app. 
These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.